will come back. In this video, we will talk about Wanda's powerful transient calculation capacity. When a valve closes too quickly or a pump shuts down suddenly, a hydraulic shock is generated in the system. This phenomenon is also called water hammer, and it describes the momentary rise in the fluid pressure in a piping system when the fluid is suddenly stops. One this transient calculation mode is able to simulate the water hammer phenomena and provide a tool to optimize the operation of network systems. Let's start with an example to illustrate Wanda's transient calculation capacity. Let's assume we have the same gravitational system as before and that we are trying to calculate the minimum valve closure time to keep the pressure in the pipeline between minus 0.5 and 7 bar gauge. Here, we are asking ourselves what are the operational conditions at which the pressure wave generated in the system due to a valve closure don't exceed allowable pressure criteria. Since water hammer is a shock wave that rapidly propagates and dissipates in the system, information regarding the speed of the pressure wave for the respective pipe at hand is required. In Wanda, wave speed in a pipe can be either specified or calculated using the following physically based equation, where C, the wave speed in the pipe, depends on the liquid density, the pipe's diameter to wall thickness ratio, Young's modulus, and bulk modulus. Young's modulus, which stands for the pipe's elasticity, depends on the pipe's material. And the bulk modulus stands for the volumetric compressibility of the liquid. In our case, the liquid is water. The bulk modulus value for water is automatically updated in Wanda in the fluid window. And we assume the following values for our Young's modulus and wall thickness. By conducting the calculation, we get a wave speed of 1183 meters per second. In case we don't know the values of these parameters, we can use the following graph for determining the wave speed in water pipelines in relation to pipe material and wall thickness. Now we need to adjust the time settings. To choose an accurate time setting, we need to understand that the transient calculation in Wanda is done using the method of characteristics on a staggered computational grid. This means that the number of calculation points along a pipeline is predetermined by the wave speed and the chosen time step through the following equation, where the time step equals the length of the pipe divided by the number of calculation points multiplied by the wave speed. By assuming that we are interested in having 20 calculation points along the pipeline, we get a time step which is approximately equal to 0.05 seconds. It's important to note that the number of the calculation points n must be an integer. To ensure that a number of elements of equal length fit in the total length of the pipe. Thus, Wanda automatically adapts the wave speed according to the chosen time step to ensure that n is an, int an integer. The simulation time is chosen in a way that captures the damping of the pressure wave. For this, we choose a time uh, which is 10 times the reflection time of the pressure wave. The reflection time of pressure wave is the time a pressure wave takes to run through the entire pipeline from the initiator of the pressure, that is the closing valve in our case, and back. This reflection time is determined by the propagation speed and the characteristic length of the pipeline system, according to the following equation, where the reflection time equals 2 multiplied by the length of the pipe divided by the wave speed. Thus, we get a simulation time of 20 seconds. Now, 
let's go to Wanda and implement all of this. In Wanda, we start by selecting the valve because we are interested to simulate the effect of a valve closure. In here, we see yes to use of action table. In the action table, we start by an open position of 34.15%, which is equal to the open position in the steady state simulation that ensures a flow rate of 300 cubic meters per hour in the system. And we assume that we want to look at the effect of valve closure within five seconds. So at five seconds, we have an open position of zero. Now we want to update the wave speed uh, value in the, in the pipeline system. So here, instead of having the calculation mode at rigid column, we use water hammer. And we insert our values. So for wall thickness, we insert five millimeters. And for Young's modulus, we insert 21 to the power of 10. And if we look, the calculated wave speed in Wanda is equal to 1,183 meters per second as we have calculated from before. However, the adapted wave speed equals 100 meters per second, which results in a deviation in the adapted wave speed value of 92%, which is a big deal. This is because we don't have the accurate time settings in our hydraulic model, and this results in a one pipe element in our model. Thus, we need to go to the time uh, window, and we need to update the time step of the model, and we insert 0 0.05 as we have calculated. And immediately, we can see that the adapted wave speed is deviating from the calculated wave speed by 0.6%, which is very good accuracy for our model. We usually aim to have a deviation less than 15%. Now we need to update the simulation time of our model. So we want 20 seconds. Now we can run our model, calculate transient. Now one that is calculating steady state results and then it calculates trend. As we are interested at looking uh, at the pressure in the pipeline system, we uh, select the pipe component and we look at the pressure values in the pipeline system. And as we can see, the pressure is exceeding our allowable pressure criteria. It is going above uh, 7 bar gauge and reaching minus 1 bar gauge. Thus, we update the uh, closure of the valve in the system. So we go back to the action table again, and we increase the time of closure of the valve. By gradually closing the valve in the system, we decrease the pressure wave generated in the system. So here, we choose uh, to look at the results of closing the valve in 10 seconds instead. Now we run the model again. Now one that is running, when we hear the first beep, it means it's cal finished calculating steady, and when we hear the second peep, it means it has calculated uh, the transient results. So now we look at the pipe again, and we look at the pressure. And as we can see, there is compliance with the criteria we have set for ourselves. By looking at the minimum and maximum values that the pressure is reaching in the system. We could also look at how the pressure wave evolves in the pipeline system in time by going to model time navigator and in the time navigator we can decrease the speed of animation or increase it 
and when playing, we will see how the pressure wave evolves in the system. As you can see, here we have done manual work to optimize the operation of the network. However, we can do this automatically and more effectively by using Parametric Script. Parametric Script is a coupling Excel sheet which outlines the different scenarios which we are interested in modeling with Wanda as a computational engine. To learn more about Parametric Script for Wanda, you may refer to uh, an advanced course of Wanda at Deltaris Academy. Thank you.